this morning, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's uh, March the 26th, 2024. Regular meeting, Commissioners Court, Liberty County, Texas. Uh, record show we do have a quorum established. Uh, Commissioner Karbowski, Commissioner Arthur, Commissioner Whitmire here with us, present. Commissioner Wilson's with us on, by way of Zoom. It, uh, we do have bids for the court. And <laughs> Twenty-six tomorrow's the twenty-seventh. Yeah, my mother would be a hundred years old tomorrow. Doctor Arnold, can you believe that? She, yeah, years old tomorrow. That, that's got to make me at least uh -huh. thirty years younger <laughs> or more. I'm going to call it that way anyway. Um, if y'all would all stand, Lee, if you'd lead us in the pledge this morning, please face the American flag. Please face the Texas flag. Under the Texas flag. Texas If y'all would. Pray with me, please. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, this beautiful day. Lord, the just the weather today is just beautiful. Everything about it. The day that you made for us to, to work and live together and do your work as best we can and, and bring glory to you. Lord, thank you for <laughs> your son. We thank you for this season of Advent. Lord, we thank you for this Holy Week and this day that's coming, well, from Friday to Sunday. And we know in our hearts what it means to each and every one that believe. Lord, again, please bless the ones that are in need. Bless, bless the ones that are sick. Bless the ones that, that need your comfort, that need your guidance, your wisdom, your grace. Lord, we thank you for everything, for all your wonderful blessings. We thank you, and Lord, please forgive us where we fail you each and every day and help us to be better, better people, better stewards, better for one another. We ask these in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. 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 <laughs> well... A lot of things going on in Liberty County here. Y'all noticed somebody decided to be a woodpecker with a chisel. They start chiseling away at the rice dryer over Dayton. Mm -hmm. Buddy, what do you think about that one? That, did you ever think that you'd see that happen? Not aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all I can say is somebody said it's going to take them four or five months to bring that old rice dryer down. I said, no. I'll take a bet on that. <laughs> but, uh, it might take four or five months to get all the steel out of it, but it's going to take a whole lot. Railroad tracks, I like to say. Yes, sir. Yeah, we, we've had to deal with railroads before, hadn't we? <laughs> we know who wins on railroad occasions. But anyway, that was that was uh, one of those tender moments when you see the first chip come out. And I'm going to do my best if I can get Commissioner Wilson to pick me up a chunk of that concrete. I'm going to save it. <laughs> well, right. that, that drive by and get one. All right. Um, notices and proclamations. Well, we do have a proclamation this morning. Liberty County Child Welfare Board. Cindy, I know you're there. Come on, y'all, come on up, please. Yeah. Sent me a biker to get child abuse so bad. <laughs> I'm not going to your kids. Yeah. You're sure it's yeah. <laughs> So uh, they're here with us today. Okay. Howdy, y'all. Great to see you. Howdy, ma'am. All right. All right. It's right up here this morning. We'll see y'all. Thank y'all. We're not fair with the rabbit. Good to see you. You betcha. All right. Yes, sir. 
Get over here, buddy. Come on in. Come on in. This is, <laughs> this is my John Wayne moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only time I, I feel like I really have to Yeah, there you go. Well, Child Abuse Prevention Month Proclamation is <clears throat> it is necessary to build a robust family well-being system that not only supports families when they are in a crisis, but <clears throat> is intentional in supporting families before they are in a crisis. In Texas, we believe that children thrive in safe, stable, nurturing families within their own communities. Through establishing partnerships with families that capitalize on the collective strengths of parents and their children, we can build strong, healthy families in resilient communities where children can thrive. Sadly, child maltreatment is still a significant public health issue. Communities that lack six accessible supports and resources can experience increased risk factors that lead to child abuse and neglect. Despite the complex factors that can lead to child maltreatment, it can be prevented. Each year, the month of April is dedicated to recognizing the critical work being done across our great state to support families before a crisis occurs and offer them accessible lifelines that mitigate the challenges they face. Child abuse prevention occurs every day through the diligent work, tireless advocacy, and simple acts of kindness undertaken by Texas families, friends, neighbors, houses of faith, advocacy groups, nonprofit organizations, schools, health care providers, social workers, and government agencies that to support children and families in every community across the Lone Star State. <clears throat> Child abuse prevention cannot be tasked to one community agency or system. Behind many families that succeeded on their own is a strong community that provided a way for the family to meet their needs. All Texans must work together to strengthen our communities and build localized supports that are accessible contribute to the well-being of the entire community, keep children and families safe and together. I encourage all Texans to learn more about the many aspects of our communities, working hard to create positive, healthy environments for the future leaders of our great nation. Together we can create a brighter future for children, families, and communities in Texas and ensure future leaders have the support they need to thrive and reach their potential. Now, therefore, be resolved by Jane Knight County Judge and the Commissioner's Court of Liberty County, Texas, along with Greg Abbott, Governor of Texas, to hereby proclaim April 2024 to be Child Abuse Prevention Month in Texas and urge the appropriate recognition whereof. Signed the 26th of March. Uh, Commissioner's Court myself. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And there's a okay. chair of children's sign okay. uh, at the front, yep. and they'll do that by April. Thank you. So Thank you all so much. Yep. Didi, I didn't notice any more notices at all. All right, good deal. Public comment. Anyone here today has any public comment? Anybody sign up? So we'll just move on. Uh, declare conflicts of interest. 
Uh, David, I think you had 15 or 16 for the year that noted. Thank you. <laughs> Consent agenda. We have a few items on there for y'all to review. And I hope you've had the opportunity. Do you have any questions about the consent agenda? And if so, do we need to move any of the items to the regular agenda? If not, I have an add on, Jeff. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. We have a payoff to um, Correctional Officer Rhonda Gordon, the jail, uh, for comp and vacation time, a total of $3,557.95. How much, Ms. Kim? $3,557.95. Thank you. And then we have another payoff to Vicki Gardner, Constable Precinct 5's office, um, to longevity pay only $260. Okay. Anything else? Angela, you have any add ons today? We're good. Thank you. I move that we approve the consent agenda with the add on the campaign. Second. All right, got a motion. <laughs> Greg, second from Bruce to approve with the additions as noted. Any further discussion? Call for vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, thank you. That motion passes. By the way, y'all didn't know this, but uh, Mr. Gott is now a grandfather. Right. So, boy, Leon, we're gonna have some fun with this. I, I already started. Have you? All right, <laughs> Sheriff, we're gonna have to explain to him his life just changed forever. Exactly right. I mean, all those numbers he's been crunching all these years, he better start crunching them better. <laughs> anyway, congratulations to Dwayne and to the the family, and what I understand, the baby's doing great. Mama, Mama is, and Daddy is. He's going to be doing great, believe me. Okay. Move on to the regular agenda, number 8.1 from uh, Mr. Uh, Thurgood Mueller, the fire marshal. Um, it's our standard, uh, well, uh, authorization time, whatever the court's pleasure. Consider and approve or order authorizing fireworks sales for St. Cena Day beginning April 16th, 2024 through midnight. April the 21st, 2024. And our normal procedure is to consider uh, sticks and fins. Um, I believe we all know what that is. It, <coughs> we approve, approve. approve without the uh, sticks without and fins. Sticks and fins. <laughs> Got a motion from Bruce, second from Greg. Further discussion? Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor? Aye. Likewise, that said motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Number eight two from Mr. Hunter, Constable in Precinct Five. Consider and approve a twenty five hundred dollar donation for Constable Precinct Five K nine K nine training from Papa Road Incorporated. Uh, David, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Approved. Got a motion to approve. Second. Motion for Leon. Second from Bruce. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number eight, three from uh, Linebargers. Our tax attorneys consider and approve the following private <coughs> resale bids on delinquent tax properties. Uh, M. Childress, property ID number 57552 for $2377. Uh, Number two is G Floors, property ID 11240 for 22000 That ought to be interesting. Number three, M Childress, property ID 57553 for 3758 And M Litwin on number four, property ID 145650 for 5000 Y'all had the opportunity to look these over. Yeah, as always, I've, I've looked at all these. They all look good. I've got Flying Barter. Uh, make a motion to approve all four. Second. Got a motion from Bruce. Second from Leon to approve. Further discussion? Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, last night. Is that motion carried? Thank you, gentlemen. 
Sometimes we've got a little business on that one, dude. Yeah. I love it. So we get hard to create it. There you go. Uh, number eight, four from Commissioner Wilson. Consider and approve the request of the Hampton Oaks subdivision for a variance of the road in Hampton Oaks located on Precinct 4. Hampton Oaks will consist of one short road with a cul-de-sac at the end. Uh, the subdivision will consist of 18 to 19 lots. With the variance requested is that the base be reduced from 24 feet to 22 feet uh, in width, evidently, and asphalt reduced from 22 feet to 20 feet in width. So we have that clarification. Move to approve. Second. Uh, motion from Greg. Second from David. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Likewise, nay. Is that most curious? Thank you, gentlemen. Number 585, Commissioner Wilson has uh, considered and approved Nicole Boudreaux appointment to Liberty County SD number one as an extra board member. Qualifications of Nicole Boudreaux are an experienced firefighter and paramedic. Reappointments to SD one also include Steve Mitchum, Gene McDowell, and Chris Dumont. Uh, are there any Discussion. I, I got uh, yeah. one. Uh, we need a clarify. Yeah, on that. We can't appoint extra board members, can yes. we? Uh, that's what we take a look at. It. The statute does not allow or doesn't provide for us appointing alternates. It's a good idea, but it's just it is. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if we don't have a statute saying we can do it, do it. Okay. So I move to approve three reappointments. Yes. And is that going to be in fact effective as of January one? That'll be effective January one. I guess probably wouldn't normally they read. Yes, yeah, January one is it. It's one should be. I'll second that one. This last one or that coming one? 2024. Yeah. Matthew. Yes, sir. Okay, you're saying that as this extra board member, which could be an alternate, that we uh we can't go ahead and support that today. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Without the statute saying that uh, or authorizing the county to appoint an alternate, we, we just can't do it. Okay. So it's not in the statute, right? That's correct. <laughs> Probably a good amendment. Clearly. It really would be. Yeah. Well, uh, consider. I mean, uh, she can still go to the meetings. Absolutely. She yeah. can still. Yeah. For uh, what, Jane? I said she can still attend the meetings and, and be versed on everything. Yeah. Went on. Right. I mean, I'd love to appoint her. It, uh, uh, just... I'll let them know. Yeah, yeah I believe I made a motion. Made, made a motion. Greg, Greg did. But was there a second? Three, three real yeah. applications. And Bruce made the second. Bruce okay. made the second. Yeah. yeah. All right. Got a motion with Greg, second with Bruce. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Likewise, no, that motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number eight, six for Miss Soliday. Well, let's see. Let's see, Melinda is uh, considering and approve the final step in requesting the FEMA ISAA agreement. This document is required for access to our historical flood data that FEMA has on file. Since we're right in the middle of our study and our plan, I would like to see what the old history does say. Exactly. And it, this is in uh, preparation still for our uh, special uh, disaster recovery plan, okay. which I'm required to begin hopefully in the next month or so. And by the way, on our, that study and plan, to my understanding, the LIDAR has been completed for all areas. So we are moving right along. Uh, once we, the LIDAR is all plugged in uh, with the engineering firm that we've hired, it, uh, I believe we have about a two year period that the actual engineering is going to be taking place as far as, uh, well, we get a whole new idea of what the topo is. Exactly. And all the benchmarks and places. Really so, easier. yeah. <laughs> so it's a good step. It's something that's never been done. Glad we could get this done. Okay. We'll make a motion to approve. Second. Motion from Bruce, second from Leon to approve. Any further 
uh, discussion. Any none call for vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number eight seven, Ms. Salde, consider and approve awarding the RFQ contracts on homes using the Community Development Block Grant disaster recovery from the General Land Office. The contract must be awarded before the abatement testing can begin. That's pretty self-explanatory. Melinda, do you have anything else you need to inform us about on this? No, we uh, we had five people show up for the walkthroughs with the different homes, but we only had four bids come in. One of them had some conflicting uh, dates, yeah. so they weren't able to uh, bring a bid in. Make a motion to approve. There. Motion from Bruce, second from Greg to approve. Any further discussion? Call for vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nay. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, number 88. Uh, Mr. C. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. C. Hello. How about you, Maggie? They almost put it on you of H, didn't it? <laughs> almost, man. They tried. And you'll notice we have our Marine on today. So, where's yours? Okay. Harold, <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you mind sending that over to my office? Uh, it should be in the packet. Okay, thank you. Okay, consider pre bid number twenty four oh five for SS one, SS one H, CRS two, and CRS two Durapatch blend from Cleveland asphalt. This is for all precincts or just yeah, for all precincts. Okay. Uh, when they bid it out, that's uh. For those materials you just said, they in the past have always bid different levels, how many gallons they delivered or how many were ordered. And this time they just did one over 5,000. But we ordered less than 5,000 quite a bit. So we redid it to allow them to do that. Because otherwise, they weren't going to sell us to us. Yeah. It'd be a lot higher price or half a dose several times. Yeah. This will fix that problem. Thank you, motion to approve. Motion from Bruce, second from David. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All in favor say aye. Uh, is this, uh, this effective today? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Number eight and nine for Mr. C. Consider and approve workers' compensation renewal at 4124. With Texas political subdivisions. Um, so, April the 1st, we got to get a new one, so it's not too many days away. Yeah. Uh, anything different about the uh, um, discussion? Actually, the the rates actually have gone down. I think 6% shows yeah. on there. Of course, we've added more people to payroll, so our premiums are going to be a little higher, but yeah. the rates did drop. Yeah. That's good. I mean, as soon as the cost of building materials for roads goes down, we'll feel a little bit better, right? <laughs> <laughs> Motion from Greg, second from Leon to approve. Further discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Likewise, next. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number eight, 10 on here. Let's see from Mr. C. Consider and approve payment to Prism Electronics for. $15,445.35, the Dayton Annex Repairs. It sounds like we're getting closer. Yeah, this is in the package because it was 20 pages, but it's in your package if you want to see the detail. But these are the people that picked up all the electronic equipment, cleaned it, decided what would work and not work. It's been returned to us. Uh, Nick has, has it in his possession. Um, we got the insurance payment probably a month or so ago, so we have the money. We just need to pay them. So we pay for Second. Motion from Leon, second from Bruce to approve. Further discussion? Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor? Aye. Uh, like day. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 11, Mr. C. We're just wearing you out today, brother. Okay, consider and approve an order granting a discretionary exemption, which local government code section 262.024A9. A, for the purchase of equipment from an auction by a state licensed auctioneer. Good this idea. Is, this is just in case it's over 50000 uh, Yeah, Bruce has something he wants to bid on with auction from Brady. Yeah. Uh, second. 
Motion to Leon and second to David. Further discussion? Hear none, call for vote. All in favor? Aye. Likewise, nay. That motion can Number 12, uh, Mr. C, consider and approve purchase of a 5,500 chassis RC for $69,703 from Grapevine Dodge Chrysler Jeep through the buy board contract number 724-23 for precinct one. Rich, found you a yeah, I'm going to make a patch truck out of it. It's the cheapest thing I need two of them, but I can only afford one. So. <laughs> That's a long way to find it. <laughs> that is a ride. Fourth pleasure. Approved. Approved. Motion from David, second from Greg to approve. Any further discussion? Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Likewise, nay. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 13, Mr. C, consider an approved extension of the contract with Allegiance Mobile Health to provide emergency ambulance services from 4124 to 33125 with the same terms and conditions. Got a couple of questions. Right now, Morning. Allegiance covers the county, unincorporated areas of the county. They also cover Cleveland in a contract, separate contract, and Dayton in a separate contract. I know that we uh, talked to Sheriff about this as far as dispatch is concerned. Their 14-minute response time, correct? I believe it's, what it, it's been pretty much that. No problem with that. My question is, <clears throat> in the contract, how many boxes do we have covering the county? I think it was five. Or was it six? I did review it. I think that sounds right. Yeah. We have somebody that hasn't started her. Good. Come on up. Monty would normally be here. He's the manager over the area. Yeah. But he knows the day. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, how many boxes we have covered in the county? I believe it's five. I believe it's five. And there's one, one uh, and then supervisor. Supervisor. Unit. Case unit. Okay. And you got two for Cleveland and two for Dayton? Yes, sir. Cleveland has one dedicated, one non dedicated, and Dayton has one dedicated, one non dedicated. Those aren't included in the private that you know, no, sir. But if you need the coverage, you can pull from Cleveland and from Dayton. Yes, sir. We use it as a mutual aid. So, yeah. okay. you know, they're, they're non dedicated trucks have to mutual aid. It's a kind of a, a vice versa mutual aid. Same time, you know, we may. Call a truck for Polk County if it's at the end of the line, San Jacinto County. We yeah. usually where we get the closest ETA within the contract balance. So you are covering San Jacinto County and Polk County as well? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Okay. Um, just out of curiosity, when is the Dayton and Cleveland contracts up for consideration? Judge, I don't know off the top of my head. I think Cleveland already renewed. Okay. I think Dayton's about this year. Do you have any anticipation on adding more boxes to Cleveland and Dayton? Not at this time. Okay. The reason I'm asking, I've, I've had people ask me, you know, <laughs> what if, and I live at the edge of Dayton. I mean, I'm, I'm so close to falling off in the river, I may as well go ahead and call it at my territory. <laughs> but it, it uh, so I get picked up. And it's, since I'm in Dayton, Falls under their contract. And then what if something happens to my neighbor, but yet Dayton only has one box is dedicated, one box is non dedicated, but that other box is non dedicated is another call. So, and there's nobody there for, you know, the county in a timely manner to get there because you're coming from what location? So they have a unit you're talking about within the county. <laughs> So we sit down with the county and that's how we determine the staffing. So there's a truck in Tarkington, a truck in Long Grove, a truck in Arden, a truck in Westlake, and Arden. said Arden. Dayton and Cleveland. I think I'm missing one. Also? 321. Okay. okay, fire station. Yes. Yeah. I knew I was missing one somewhere. Three yeah. One fire station. <clears throat> Well, that question has come up, you know, is like, what do you do then? Because that one box is going to be on dispatched out, probably going to Baytown with somebody, yeah. me riding in it, maybe. We try to move trucks around. So 
321 is right there close to the Dayton, so a lot of times they'll be able to mutual aid over into that area or West Lake mutual aid, depending on where the call falls. Yeah. Um, you know, as the county goes level, see that also if other trucks are available in the areas, we bring trucks over to help backfill them mm -hmm. to try to cover. Um, y'all don't hardly ever go level zero. Very few times that y'all run out of trucks county wide. Okay. That's my only consideration at this point is with the population expanding as it is now and more people living in the unincorporated areas as it is now, uh, what are we going to do for the future as far as bridges concerned? Yeah, you're going to have more people moving into the municipalities. Okay. So that might be something you need to work on this year. I don't, I don't have any problem that we knew this contract. It's just for the future. Because yes, people are going to ask you those questions, but they're going to ask me first that I have to ask you. Okay. So it uh, probably in the near future, Sheriff, we could all sit down together and, and work on a plan that, uh, well, it'd be cohesive at least. And then that would take us. discussions and, and look at the whole plan we bring off yeah. that. To well, y'all always been good about that. Yes, and I mean, especially well, when we had the question about response times, <clears throat> y'all. Jumped right on top of that and got to take care of. So, you know, I'm satisfied with the service. It just now that we have 99 open, uh, and we see what's happening there on the west side of the river, you know, it's it's going to continue. So, anyway, how long is the contract for? A year. A year. One year. Yeah. Make a motion to approve. Zaga. Motion from Bruce. Second from David. Any further Thank discussion? You. Thank you, sir. Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nays. That motion carries. Thank you, Jim. <clears throat> ah. Number 14, consider and approve the district attorney's office to have access to the editing tools for the district attorney's web page. The county website this allows restricted access for needed changes and upgrades to their web page only. From Anna, I got it right this time. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. You have uh, this one uh, was requested. Thank you. And Ms. Bergman apologizes for not being here to the court. She's at the retired fire chief's funeral. Yes, ma'am. And Thank you. That's great. <laughs> This is the same thing that was on last time, except the wording. It was requested that put what well, we wanted to change in writing. Sure. Make a motion to approve. So, got a motion in, from Bruce. Second from Greg to approve. Is there any further discussion? Jay? Yes, sir. I've not received any of the writings that the district attorneys have submitted. Uh, it wasn't in the packet. And apparently it was just received this morning, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. At this point in time, I'm going to have to say nay because I haven't been able to view the verbiage uh, of what, they, uh, what they're indicating to us because we're just now receiving it. And I, I don't have the ability to look at it. <clears throat> okay. We do have a motion and a second uh, standing. That is further discussion from Commissioner Wilson. <clears throat> we will call for a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nays. <clears throat> As a nay from Commissioner Wilson. All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see, number 15, you're back. <laughs> Next time we'll get them all ganged up in one spot. Well, I was okay. working from home, so I was getting them to it as fast as I could. Uh, let's see, number 15, consider approving various requests for Colony Ridge development for Santa Fe Section 16, attached is LJA Engineering's letter of no objection. Uh, you have any other, other things you want to discuss about it, Melinda? Um, this is on one minor collector. They want a 70 foot right away um, to 11 foot lanes instead of the 12 foot. 
and one major collector, a 70 foot right away with two 11 foot beams. And on the Yellow Brick Road, they want building setbacks at 25 instead of 50. And LJ has no, and LJ has no objections. Make a motion to approve. Right. Motion to approve. Second, Leon to approve. <coughs> we further discussion. Hearing none, call for vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Likewise, nays. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, number 16, consider and approve a Colony Ridge development for Santa Fe Section 16 uh, construction plans, final drainage uh, plan, and final plat for your approval attached in the packet as LJ Engineering's letter of recommendation. It's self explanatory. Pretty much. Uh, this is uh, 1,843 lots and 56 reserves. Single family units. Um, this section allows for residential and non residential. How many lots, Melinda? 1,843 and 56 reserves. Make a motion to approve. Melinda? Yes, ma'am. I have a bunch of maps that's been sitting on my desk for months and months and months. I mean, I appreciate you guys approving them, but they're not filing them. Uh, okay, they need I'll have to get the ones that have been approved. Usually, get them filed right away. They've been sitting there forever. Okay, and we we aren't getting them. So, I mean, it's fine to approve them, but if they're not filing them, it's kind of pointless. So, okay. we need to make sure that we file them in a timely manner. So, I'm sorry to interrupt, Bruce. You said you had made a motion. Mm -hmm. okay. Got a second, Greg. Okay. <clears throat> Got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hear none, call for vote. All in favor? Aye. Likewise, nays. Uh, we have one abstain uh, from David. Okay. Commissioner Wilson, I'll bring the mylars to your office. Thank you. All right. So 15 and 16 were uh, David did abstain. We got this. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're on 17, correct? <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, number 17, Mr. C, come on back up, Harold. Consider and approve additional change order request for project 2312, construction of a metal supply shed <clears throat> for precinct one due to the rising cost of building materials in the amount of $3,500 uh, with applicable taxes. Yeah, let me make a clarification on this. This came in last minute, Thursday, and trying to get it to the DD on time, I didn't proofread it. It says uh, due to rising cost of building materials, that sends it on a quote. Uh, this is only good for 30 days, what it actually says. This is actual for electrical work, but it's a change order. And, and it's not for precinct it. one, it's for the hotel building. Right. Make Even though it is in precinct one. Yeah. <laughs> Make a motion to approve it. <laughs> motion, Bruce, Saving Greg, to approve. Any further discussion? Hey, now call a vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Likewise, nays. That motion carries. Thank you. Nope. 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 You don't, don't be jumping the gun like that. A little, a little executive session. Okay. I do need a motion to uh, first retire in executive session. Going to executive session. Sorry. Motion from Bruce. Second from David. All in favor, say aye. Aye. And it is 9.43 a.m. And we are now in executive session. Uh, 